Ever wonder what it's like being a professional bodybuilder? I've been prepping for my second pro show for over 16 weeks now, and today we're doing an in-depth day in the life on prep. We're going over supplements, my lifting schedule, grocery shopping, and cardio. Let's begin. It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm French. You are winner, Julia Renee. Today is a rough morning. <laughs> I slept so bad last night. I kept waking up and having nightmares about the retreat that we're hosting, like it going wrong and everything. By the way, if you haven't got your ticket, get your ticket. But I kept waking up and having nightmares about things going wrong, like real things. So I didn't sleep too good and I've definitely been over working as well as overworking my body, which is that I have to do for bodybuilding. So I'm struggling a little bit today, but I'm gonna take you through a realistic day in the life of a professional bodybuilder and all of the beauty that comes with it. But first, make sure you subscribe because we're on our way to 100K and we're quite literally almost there. So thank you guys. If you don't know, this is Zach. This is my partner. She hides me in closets. Yeah, I hide him. We, <laughs> we, discussed, we, discussed, we've, we discussed this this morning. I was like, Ian's coming over to film. And he's like, okay, well, well where are you gonna be? Cause I'll just, I'll go somewhere else. I was like, you don't have to hide. He's like, well, it seems like you never want me in your video. And I was like, because I'm the star and you're not, that's why. So right now, I woke up later than normal today. Usually I wake up at about anywhere between six and 6.30, depending on how I feel when I go to sleep. But I knew this morning that my body needed more sleep. Granted, it was a terrible sleep sleeps. So I woke up at seven, ish and that's okay because on Fridays I have a very small workload and typically I can choose to work today or I could choose to not work today. So I'm just gonna start shipping on my water and we're gonna journal before we go do cardio. <coughs> okay guys, I have the Know Your Power journal that I made all by myself with no help. <laughs> so actually, my um, one of my really best bestest friends designed it, and she did the front and the back. And this sun and moon is supposed to be Zach and I. I'm the sun, Zach's the moon, and um, it's basically a guided daily journal. So if you're struggling, you're more powerful than you think, Julia Renee. If you're struggling, Zach, your name is in it. Don't worry. So it says it right there. So it's a daily guided journal. So if you struggle with figuring out what to write <laughs> and your life, Ian says, if you're struggling with your life, um, this is perfect. It gets you, gives you ideas of what to actually write and journal about. So uh, we have a plan your day and then we have an evening one that you do before bed to kind of recap the day. So top three priorities to live within your power today. We go over intentions, gratitude. <laughs> what happened? Did you spill all your water? <laughs> Anyways, and then we have a little free write section. Oh my God, did I just put a mark on it? And then plan your day has the sun, which is me, and know your day, which is evening exact day. So we're gonna fill this out and then we're gonna write our goal seats down. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Ah, your hands are cold. No, okay. No. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The AC is negative five in here. Yeah, I love it so much. If you guys didn't know, we keep the AC at like 66 because Julia runs hot and sweats with the tiniest amount of 
hotness. I have been, first of all, my eyes are watering. That's annoying. Whenever I do my journaling, I go to this YouTube channel and it's called Meditative Mind and they have meditations and stuff and all of them are like labeled. And so I just like pick whichever one I want. And sometimes they even have like live ones that are going. This one is 963 Hertz, purify your aura, activate your pineal gland. Is that a pineal gland? Pineal? So listen to it, it's just nice. See how relaxing? My undiagnosed ADHD does not allow me to have words in my songs when I'm doing something focused, so it has to be no words, because then I start singing the words, even if I don't know the words. Cardi Ho! So as y'all know, I've been doing like treadmill and Stairmaster, it's a whole thing. Um, the reason being like switching between the two, basically, I don't know how to describe this. It's like, I'm just getting, my cardiovascular health is just getting so much better that it takes a higher level of intensity for me to run or to be on the Stairmaster in order to get my heart rate to go up, if that makes sense. And I want my heart rate to be around 135 for my sessions, and it's just getting harder and harder to keep that, so I'm having to either um, run faster on the treadmill or I'm gonna have to like step harder on the Stairmaster, but for some reason, when I am doing the Stairmaster in the mornings at the gym, my heart rate, I'm literally on like level 12, like which is hot and my heart rate's not going up. So then I have to end up getting off and switching back to the treadmill and then I'll have to do like a light jog and then my heart rate will go up and then I can go for like a little bit of a walk and then I have to do that again. But for some reason after, my training sessions. I don't know if it's because my pre-workout is hitting or whatever with the caffeine and stuff, but when I'm on the Stairmaster after I train, my heart rate skyrockets. It's so weird. Like yesterday I was on the Stairmaster after I did uh, my gluten hamstring workout and literally my heart rate just went Poof! and I was able to like hold it there. And it's probably because when you're training and you're lifting, your heart rate is already up because you're moving weight and doing all of that. And then you go immediately to cardio afterwards, so you're already at a heightened state. Versus right now, I'm like waking up and like going to cardio, my heart rate's pretty chill. So, it's weird, but we're, we're doing it. So, I might be switching from walking and then jogging to try and keep my heart rate where we want it to be. Vision 8, one of my magnets. <laughs> it's all over here. Like this, and like get it all on the couch. Oh, we should just do that outside. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Whoops. You're smart. <laughs> smart guy. Did you do that? Gee, what's for Brecky? The same thing that I've been having for days, maybe even weeks, probably weeks at this point. But what changed, at least, is that my meal plan's basically still the same. We've been consistently losing weight, like a pound every single week for the past three weeks, which is awesome. And that means it's working which is so great. Um, and then coach wanted to just push it a little bit more. So we added just 10 more minutes of cardio after I train. So we already did our 50 minutes and then we're gonna train today and then we'll do post cardio. It was 20 minutes and now it's 30. We reduced calories by just a little bit, not too much. 
First Form came out with their pumpkin spice latte protein powder again. So what I've been doing, where's my, I haven't been mixing it in with this. Okay, I can't, oh, there's the scoop, there's the scoop. So I've been using this vegan power protein, not because like I'm vegan or anything, just because I ran out of my regular one. But for some reason, I, I don't know why, I hated the flavor of vegan protein powders before, but I really like it. It's like, I don't know, it just tastes different than regular. So I've been putting some of my protein in here and then I've been leaving the rest so that I can just do like a little, little, Okay. little little spice in my coffee and I'll show you how I do that. I also need to put greens in here. So I've just been putting kale in here. Boom. A little bit of kale. A little bit of kale. Vision, you do not want this, trust me. If I had poop on a stick, Vision would want it. He'd be like, are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, that's it for that smoothie. No. I need to put my glutamine, fiber, and my reds. All of these are first form. I just put them in little cute containers because I'm extra. So a little bit of reds, some fiber so we can do the poop poops, if you know what it means. If you don't, it's very obvious, you know. Glutamine for muscle recovery. Just throw it all in there because why not? Let's make it a one and done dealio. I've been using this crappy little um, blender because putting like this tiny amount in my big ninja and cleaning a giant ninja is just dumb even though this thing doesn't work that well. <gasps> I forgot something. God. <laughs> I'm telling you, I told you when you got here that today I was losing it. We do a little, little piece of ginger. It makes it taste really good. Put a little bit of water. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry for the whiplash. We're fine, we're just like <laughs> Mix it up. <laughs> it's like one of those toys that you wind up and it like jumps. It, it literally went in a circle and like wrapped itself. That's hilarious. Okay, so I'm gonna have that. Take my morning pills with it, which includes, sorry for all the dishes. It's just, it's just one, it's just one of those days. I can't. Okay, morning pillsies, all first form. I have it organized in my little pill container so that I just know when to take it. Uh, we have iron, vitamin K, vitamin D, liver detox, spirulina, kale. No, 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 kelp. <laughs> and some other things I forgot. Okay, now that we have done that, I'm gonna make my coffee and I'm just gonna eat this out of here because solid. A little on the chunky side, but it's okay. So with my coffee, we got a new coffee machine because our Nespresso Kobe. Oh shit. We got a new coffee maker because I had an espresso and it sucked. Like I bought it when I first moved into this place because I wanted to be fancy and it literally broke. So that was fun. Um, it was just, it was either, cause I think my house has a ghosty and our ghosty likes to change our channels on our TV when the remote's nowhere near us and p make the coffee maker go for a million miles even though it's not supposed to. So I just got a Keurig again a little bit of Splendor. This is also like a sugar-free, it's either hazelnut or vanilla, one of those two. But since I'm adding the protein powder, I don't need this sugar because I'm adding the protein powder. This is my sugar and I'm putting it back in here. Just bear with me, okay? Limited calories, lots of cardio. Okay, let's do 10 ounces. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of the First form pumpkin spice latte has protein, tastes like pumpkin spice latte. I can't have a pumpkin spice latte right now because I'm on prep, but this is second best. Flavor wise, why aren't you going? 
I still don't know how to work it. Flavor wise, it's like in between sweet and spicy because there's a level of spice that there is with pumpkin spice, obviously, but sometimes it's like too much, but this is perfect and you don't even have to do like a full scoop in your coffee to get the flavor. I literally just do like a couple of these little tiny scoops and it works and then we're gonna froth it in. So I literally just put two in there and I'm gonna froth it up and try not to get it to get out of the cup. Woo! That was a close one. Beep. Perf. What are we doing next? When you make a grocery list, because we gotta go to the grocery store, I don't really wanna shower before I go to the grocery store. I'm just gonna be honest, I'm probably not going to. Today's a different kind of day. Usually I'm not this scatterbrained, honestly. Um, so this is new for me. Delicious. This is a limited time first form protein powder. It's only available during this time. And what's crazy is people literally like set their calendars to get this and they buy like multiple so that they can have it year round because it's not available year round. So, besides the point, Link in the description. it'll be, it'll be there, it'll be there. Okay, we need groceries. So, my Mega Fit Meals order is coming in today. It comes in every Friday. I just make it a point and they send me my uh, protein in bulk which right now our proteins are one fatty protein and all lean protein. So I always get white fish and beef. So we already have that coming in. Uh, we are kind of, we really don't need that much. We definitely need kale for my smoothies. We have enough blueberries. I also need veggies because I'm eating so many veggies throughout the day. So I usually, I've been doing a mixture of carrots and green beans and putting them either in like the air fryer or the oven so I can get a ton done at one time because I make so much at one time and it's never ever lasts me through the week because that's how much vegetables I'm eating right now. We also need some lettuce because sometimes if I get bored of having just the vegetable option, I'll chop up lettuce and so that I can have still a lower calorie option of a vegetable, but it gives me more volume and makes me think that I'm eating more food. Um, and then I'll use this Walden Farms raspberry vinaigrette on it. Zero calorie, so good, tastes great. And then I'll just do it, put my protein, whatever it is on there. I'm probably gonna get Zach a few things because I'm nice. He usually likes to have watermelon. Baby, baby. Oh well. I need toothpaste, that's besides the point. You guys don't care about that. I need body wash, you probably don't care about that either. And balsamic vinegar dressing. This is the most boring grocery haul ever. Okay guys, finished prepping our food. Just did a little bit of work for the day like I was telling you on Fridays. I typically don't have that much to do. Usually I'm not even like filming on Fridays, but Ian was traveling on our filming days. So we moved it to today, which is Friday. So I'm gonna start getting ready to go and train. I like to train earlier than I normally do on Friday so that I have time to like chill and hang out. But I just had a minor like panic attack. Um, let me get my makeup box. I've just been over stressing myself out, not with prep stuff, but with work stuff. <sighs> to the part, to the point where like I'm talking about it now and I'm hyperventilating. Um, I've just been overloading myself with so much work because I do love all of the things that I do. I love making YouTube videos. I love prepping for bodybuilding shows. I love doing my podcast. I love doing all my social media content, but at a, there's a point where I have like the YouTube series going on where I have to film. I have to create content for Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, YouTube then also my coaching clients that I have, then the podcast, then podcast guests, and it's just, I love that I do so many of these things, but sometimes I just overwhelm myself 
with a little bit too much work while I'm already going through a lot, like meaning putting my body through a lot. Cause there's this thing that like happens in bodybuilding, like when you're on prep, cause you feel so like on top of the world, like you can do anything because you're doing something that's so hard. So it's easy when we do my mustachio, it's easy to feel like you can just take on the entire world. But then you have to think about like the amount of physical exertion that I'm doing every single day with limited amount of calories plus all of the other work stuff. Like I have to just be more mindful of my stress levels, especially because stress levels have a lot to do with your overall physique and how it looks. And you guys know when I was, it was like a couple months back, but I basically gave myself a rash because I was stressing myself out too much and I've done it again. Um, I don't even know if you can see this. I'm gonna put a little bit of a light on it, but there's all this like texture and it's not, People would probably be like, Julia, it's not that big of a deal, but it feels like sandpaper. And then my face is starting <laughs> to get a rash again. Cause if I get stressed, <laughs> apparently my body likes to break out in a rash. And this time I'm not stressed about my body. Like I'm so happy with the progress that I have been seeing. Cause we've been consistently losing weight every single week. And my last DEXA scan was so great and we're moving in the right direction. So it's nothing that has to do with prep. It's more so just the work aspect. And then to, to top it off, I was like, yeah, let's travel to Houston this weekend. <laughs> so um, I think after this weekend, hopefully I will have some time to just rest and relax and get my body to where it needs to be. Um, Cause I'm stressing myself out. I always get, I'll get like a rash here in my face when I stress and ain't nobody got time for that. We don't need to be doing that unnecessary stress on my body that I'm doing by myself. And yeah, I have a facial today at 4, 4 p.m., which usually is the time that I'm at the gym. But like I said, on Fridays, we're gonna go a little bit earlier. And I think um, I'm gonna do a Hydra facial because since I have basically a rash, none of my makeup is like sticking to my face properly. I'm getting, it's like crusty patches on my face, if that makes sense. I feel like a little reptile. <laughs> and then with like how much I'm sweating, it makes it worse and it stings. So I'm gonna get a hydrofacial, fix the situation, hopefully manage stress, do a little bit more meditating and more deep breaths. Gotta put on some eyes and my brows. Me about to look on full leak. I just got my eye brow eyelashes done yesterday, so I'm feeling like myself again. If you are in the VIP section of YouTube, you have already seen that daily vlog. And if you're not, what are you doing? Go to. This is so hard to talk while doing eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know how YouTube makeup people talk through how they do their makeup, but join the VIP. Also, we have so many girls that are already signed up for the Know Your Power Women's Retreat that's here in Austin, Texas, October 7th. So if you haven't snagged your ticket, it'll be down in the description. It's going to be an incredible, super deep day of workshops, guest speakers diving deep into some inner work so that you can come out knowing how truly powerful you are. And then the next day, there's gonna be like a brunch and a girl's lift together. So if that sounds like something you wanna do, do it. And don't worry about being there alone because there's gonna be a ton of girls that are gonna be there coming from all over the United States that are coming by themselves and you won't be alone because you're gonna make some of your lifetime friends. <laughs> This one's for your camera because H-E-B doesn't like us to film. But we're gonna do it anyway. Watermelon, not for me, for Zachary. He also wants cherries and bananas. Not for me, for Zachary. Bell peppers. This one's stuck. We're gonna get this bad boy. Get the goods. 
kale for my smoothies. I've been getting these little seaweed packet things. They're like 30 calories for a packet. So if I'm feeling like really nibbly and I'm feeling like I want to eat off my meal plan, I just have one of these and they're so good and they're crunchy. I'm gonna get a teriyaki one. This one's sweeter and the chili lime is also my favorite. We just need some cashew milk. They don't have the right milk. I usually get the cashew milk. Okay, fine. We're gonna get the unsweetened 30 calorie almond breeze. Smells like coffee in there. All right, we got that done. I always like to get it done on Fridays because going to the grocery store on a Saturday where everybody and their mom is going is not fun. So then it gives me Saturday and Sunday to like wash the vegetables, cook them, and I don't have to do it like Saturday or Sunday, which are days that I kind of just like to relax and not really do so much work. So I have my groceries already ready to go. That might be a little on the crispy side. We have our veggies done, prepped, Ooh. ready to go. I'll put them in their little bulk containers. This seems like an excessive amount of vegetables, but I swear I need them all. So I'm gonna need like to individually pack my meals and a lot of them have vegetables in them. I'm going to mix these. Meal number two skis. I'm so hungry. And then we can get our pre-workout meal, which is higher in carbs, which I really want. We have our pre-workout ready to go. I did not put, I put half the amount of caffeine that I normally do because it's still early and I'm still got energy. Put some first form Endura Formants which gives me like the craziest pumps, which I love having on upper body days. Um, lower body's not so much because then I can't even get through my leg day. Put a little bit of salt in there also and EAAs so that I can get through my workout. Um, so we'll start sipping and I will see you at the gym. These shorts make my quads easy. Are we ready? Oh, okay. Um, we're doing abs because I didn't do them this morning. So I always throw in my abs on days where I'm doing upper body because my days are a little bit shorter than my leg days, which tend to be a lot longer and a lot more grueling. So we're gonna do our abs first. And I changed my ab routine since the last time I told you guys. Um, I think before we were doing a couple of different things. So I'm just gonna run you through it real quick. The VIPers already know this ab routine because I showed them on a day that I don't remember, but let's begin. Basic concept, still the same. We're doing three workouts and it's gonna be a circuit and we're doing it for about 12 reps each. Then after that, resting, continue. These bones are gonna get in the way. I just know it. done with back, biceps, cardio, felt pretty good. 
not as strong as normal, but not as weak as I thought, which is great. <laughs> so I'm on my way home. We finished our 30 minutes of post cardio, which is what changed in my program. We just added 10 more minutes instead of 20. It's now 30. And like I was saying this morning with the Stairmaster, for some reason, my heart rate just skyrockets when I do cardio right after training. So it was relatively easy to get my heart rate to go up, which was awesome. Burned some extra calories. So now I'm gonna go home, do the quickest shower known to man, and then get my facial done. Because like I was telling you guys earlier, my skin is just whew, rough. I don't even know if you could see it. I'm about to go night nights. I look beautiful. Aww. <laughs> okay. I feel super uber duper relaxed. My, uh, she took some photos of my rash and she's like, I'm gonna post it on, like, with your permission, some of my esthetician, like, Facebook groups and stuff, because she's honestly like, I don't know what this is. And um, the last time that I got it, I also went to go see her afterwards and it eventually, like, went away. But it's either a stress rash or a heat rash. One of the two, especially with how hot it is here in Texas and how much I'm sweating and training in a hot gym over and over and over daily, like two, two times a day. So I'm gonna go to the store and get some calamine cream, that's what she said, calamine cream, and put it on, she said also to put some ice packs on tonight to help reduce the inflammation. I'm itchy, but my skin feels a little bit better after doing the hydrafacial. It doesn't feel so crusty, but it's this part that's a little bit more flared up here. And then my neck and my skin under my eyes a little bit and then some on my cheeks. Um, but it's not as bad on my face as it was the last time. It was more so like just my chest this time. So we're going to go get some of that. We're going to get some old lady cream. Ugh. I am utterly exhausted. It's one of those days where I'm just like, done. Well, tomorrow I'm gonna be in Houston. So our next video you'll see is gonna be Houston. I'm gonna be training with someone super special. So get excited for that. Come on, Vision. I know you wanna be a part of the video. There we go. Vision's heel. He looks like Scrappy-Doo, doesn't he? You're so cute. Well, I love you guys so much. And you're more powerful than you think. Bye.